Markets are quiescent this morning. Time for a morning pick-me-up, and for that, we turn to Brendan Greeley. <laughs> yes, this is your eye-opener, McKee. We'll talk about that later. Okay, 3.5 million cases of high-end premium scotch sold in the U.S. last year. 2.5 million cases of high-end premium Irish whiskey, but that is not the whole story. Scotch grew at 4.1% since 2002. Irish whiskey has grown at, listen to this number, 505%. Jack Teeling was there for that entire story. You've been selling Irish whiskey to Americans for two decades. Every whiskey is a story. What is the story you're selling right now in America? Well, we are the leading independent Irish whiskey producer. We're trying to bring a bit of breadth and choice within the category that's been dominated by a smooth, approachable taste profile mm -hmm. that has been like a gateway for, for new consumers to get into brown spirits. Uh, so it's been done a certain way over the last number of years, and what we're trying to do is do something a little bit different. Let's put a fine point on it. You're really trying to say Irish whiskey is more than Jameson's. Yeah, for the, it's dominated the category over the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. They brought new consumers in, but like any other category, people are looking for choice. Uh, it's at the very early stages of segmentation, of premiumization, people are asking questions, what else could Irish whiskey be? And that's where the independents like ourselves come in. So you're talking about independence and new distilleries. Uh, Cooley Distillery, where you worked, used to be the only independent distillery in Ireland. Uh, um, there are now, I think, plans for uh, close to 20 new distilleries. How does that change your work? Well, I think it's good. I think if people can produce interesting different styles of whiskey that complement the big brands that are out there, give it that breadth, that choice for consumers to discover something new, mm -hmm. it's great for the category. Um, there is nine distilleries. It's changed from four in 2012 to nine over a short period of time. But compared to Scotland, where there's 130 distilleries, there's still a lot of room for growth. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, I want to internationalize this to the other side of the world, the East. Okay. I was uh, living in Hong Kong for the past four years, and I was uh, uh, introduced to uh, Yamazaki and Hibiki. How do you think those uh, compare to Teeling? Well, I always say uh, Japanese single malts are like a good cross between Scottish and Irish and that they have some of the lovely fruity notes you get from an Irish whiskey with some of the, let's say, more peaty notes that you get from, 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 from Scottish whiskey. But right. what's interesting is people are just single malt consumers. They're more interested in what's in the bottle. Um, you have to have a unique provenance, a unique story, but they're open for trying whiskey from all around the world. Right. You know, there's a Bloomberg News article out, uh, actually last year, about how Japan's single malt surpassed Scotland's finest, but can Irish's potentially find finest surpassed Japan's as well as Collins. Well, we're trying our best. Uh, we're just launching our Irish single malt in the market now. It's one of the world's best Irish single malt, so we're trying our best to bring that flavor to, mm -hmm. to be able to stand up there against the, the other categories. Well, speak to the Scotch snob in the audience. Why take a <laughs> bottle of Irish whiskey and add it to your collection? Mm -hmm. Not just ordering it in a bar. Uh, I think it's it's something that uh, if it's an interesting expression, you can mm. uh, introduce to your friends and surprise people what Irish whiskey can be because people's mm. perceptions of Irish whiskey has been more mm -hmm. for that blended, smooth, approachable. And there is very unique flavors out there mm. that uh, you can introduce, taste, enjoy in different circumstances and with different people. All right. Thanks very much. Such interesting stuff to talk about, especially early in the morning, guys.